This is Baby Blush, a free to play account where we're currently trying to complete the game by earning the most overpowered player within it. Now, in the last video, after spending 100 hours and not really making that much progress, with time running out, completing the game started to look a lot less likely. So, in today's video, I'm going to be spending just over a week grinding the game as much as I can and doing everything in my power to achieve my goal of getting my hands on Mbappe's 93 rated player of the month card. So, with the daily login SPC available, I would take advantage of it, allowing me to earn an insane pack from the objectives. Now, I also had tons of other objectives to claim, and I was getting some decent packs from this. And after entering into the store and opening only my first pack, I already got a walkout. Now this player was a duplicate, but packing high-rated players was important, and using this one, I was capable of completing one of the squads for Mbappe, and already within my first hour, I had made some decent progress, and this was good, right? Well, in this case, it actually wasn't. You see, at this point, with plans of going on a family holiday, I decided that I'd made a decent amount of progress, meaning that I could pack up and get ready to leave. Now at this point, between having to drive for a total of 17 hours and doing other family activities that a no life like me wasn't used to, approximately three days would go by and I would not log into the game once via console. You see, like I said, I'm a no life, so I would still log into the web app over these three days, completing SPCs that I found valuable and trying to rack up as many packs as I could. I would also open some of the lesser packs and one of them would give me both an 89 rated as well as a tradable 86 rated player. And so for now, I would send these items to the transfer list. And after these three days had ended, I eventually set up shop at the hotel and I would log into the game via console for the first time. Now at this point, the versus promo was out and along it came some apps absolutely insane players and to make things even better we had our division rival rewards ready to claim along with the packs that we got came a decent amount of xp which allowed me to make significant progress in the season pass and earn a couple of decent packs i would then start opening the packs that we had and i was going through so many not really getting anything special but because of the amount of packs that we had saved up to this point we were almost guaranteed to get something good and eventually about halfway through opening our packs we would get an 88 rated player now they were a duplicate and so i would use them to complete an 88 rated squad for mbappe and once again we had made significant progress towards completing his player of the month and in high spirits i would continue opening the packs that we had and this is when things started to get spicy because in the very next pack that i opened i would pack a walkout but it wasn't just any player it was a 90 rated lewandowski i would then get another polish walkout from the very next pack before the third pack that i opened for this session gave me two walkouts one being 86 and one being 88 rated now at this point i felt like my luck just couldn't get any better but remember that promo team that was in packs well in our next pack we would pack a player from it we would once again get another walkout as well and this felt so good because i knew that as i opened these packs and continue to get walkouts, I was constantly chipping off the value on Mbappe's player of the month. And if I'm being honest with you, I felt like completing his player of the month would be a piece of cake. Now, eventually, when I came down to my last pack, from it, I would get a walkout, but once again, it was a duplicate Tony Cruz. And using him, along with the team of the week that we packed, I was capable of completing yet another one of Mbappe's squads. And just when I thought that things couldn't get any better for us, this is when I noticed something massive. Because you see, the only reason I actually took my console to the hotel was because all I planned to do was play the Champions Finals. And with this only being available over the weekends, we had a limited amount of time to do so. Now, by playing in the Champions Finals, I knew that I could earn insane rewards and make a decent amount of coins. And after spending 100 hours in the last video, trying to make as many coins as I possibly could so that I could purchase Mbappe's gold card, unfortunately, by the end of the video, we weren't capable of purchasing him because he was valued at 1.85 million coins. Now, what was special was that after searching for Mbappe's gold card, with the 1.6 million coins that I had at the time, I saw that we had over enough to be able to purchase him. I would then find the cheapest possible version. And after purchasing Mbappe's gold card, being left with over 80,000 queens, I felt like I was on top of the world. Because remember, the reason I wanted to get Mbappe's gold card was because he could help me to get better results in the Champions Finals and therefore earn better rewards, in turn allowing me to complete his player of the month even quicker. I would then start my Champions Finals campaign and hey, let me tell you this much, this brother was different. Because all of a sudden, in a game where scoring goals isn't the easiest, I was capable of scoring a lot more than I'd usually be capable of and this was purely due to the fact that Mbappe is on another level in this game. Now in my first session, I would play a total of 4 games and considering the fact that I wasn't playing in my home ground, the fact that I only lost one game wasn't bad, especially when you consider the fact that this was the team that we ended up losing to. After playing those games, we had completed a bunch of objectives and we were capable of getting a lot of packs as well as player picks, which gave us the opportunity of getting some players with decent rating. Now on holiday, although it was simple, this was my plan because I intended to simply just ground one game mode and as I would get rewards from it, open the packs and use the players that I got to whittle down Mbappe's overall value. Now in these packs that we got back, every single pack except for the very last pack that we opened would be awful but fortunately in the very last pack we would get an 87 rated player now with our packs being exhausted like i said my plan was to ground one game mode to get even more packs and so after this i would play three more games in the champions finals and after playing a total of seven games we had still only lost one now although we could only claim one pack this time
time, it was a significant one because we had made it to level 10 in the season pass. And in the 83 times 10 that we got from that, not only would we initially get two walkouts, but behind them was a third walkout along with a team of the week player. Our team of the weeks being incredibly valuable at the time, every single time we packed one, we'd be chipping off a significant amount of Mbappe's player of the month value. And with honest work being done on this day, I decided to enjoy the rest of my day at the hotel. On this day, with it being my last day at the hotel, I would spend majority of my hours enjoying its facilities because this isn't something that I do often and this hotel was located on the beach. Now, as far as my Champions Finals campaign was concerned, little did I know that this would be to my detriment. You see, on the day before, all of the games that I played was during the early hours of the afternoon and during these hours, most people are enjoying the hotel and not really stuck in the room using the Wi-Fi. Now, because I started playing my games late, on this day, a lot more people were in their rooms taking advantage of the Wi-Fi and this meant that overall, my connection would be a lot poorer. Now, in this scenario, I had two options. I could either just play through the lag or break into every single one of the rooms at this hotel, destroying each and every electronic device that has Wi-Fi capabilities. Now in good spirits, I decided to choose the former. But because of this, in the games that I played, I was struggling to cope and I would have to do a lot to win. Now because of the fact that I had Mbappe, in these games I kind of always had a chance to win and I was amazed to see that even though it was only the gold card and I knew that we were working towards a much more potent version of him, this gold card was still capable of doing things that other players on my team just couldn't and he would single-handedly transform our team, allowing us to win games that without him, we simply just wouldn't be able to. Now, having said that, we would still lose quite a few games on this day, but just like the day before, after playing a few games, I would claim objectives, allowing me to get some decent packs, and from the three packs that I had gotten, in each and every single one of them, I would get a walkout, but on this day, we would also pack our second freeze item, but unfortunately, it still wasn't one of the best ones. Now with the record that I had, being guaranteed to at least get rank 5 rewards, I was satisfied, and I knew that if I could win 3 out of the next 4 games that I had, I could upgrade these rewards to rank 4, and so so this is what I would set out to do next. After already losing the first game that I played, the odds were against me, but I would still win the second game that I played, but unfortunately, a loss in the third one would render achieving rank 4 rewards impossible, and because of this, I would give my fourth game away as a free win, and satisfied that I had at least gotten rank 5, and by the fact that I had now completed a Champions Finals campaign while I was away, I decided to back up and leave the rewards for when I arrived back home. Okay, we're back now, but it looks like we left our luck at the hotel. But jokes aside, in the next player pick, we would get another high rated player, and in the third one, we would get a team of the week. And so all in all, these players would be massive in allowing us to achieve our goal. Now a guaranteed promo pack would give us an 87 rated player, but the final 3 packs that I had were all tradable. So we have over 100,000 queens, but I need to make even more and we have a Spanish intermediate, here, but this one's just going to be an 86 rated. Now by selling the content, we were capable of making a decent amount of coins, and motivated to make even more, I would continue opening these packs. We have a German camp from Bayern, it's Musiala, but it's going to be 2 walkouts, and we just got Modric as well. This allowed us to make even more coins, and I left the best pack for last. Okay, final pack. We're still here to get a promo card, but it looks like we're going to be getting Odegaard. It is Odegaard, but it's two walkouts once again? No way! And our second walkout's going to be a 90 rated Messi. And with the amount of coins that I expected to make, through selling all of the players with decent rating within our ultimate pack, just like before, I continued to feel like I was on top of the world. Now while waiting for players to sell, I took a look to see what it would cost us to complete Mbappe's most expensive squad. And after seeing that it would cost over 300,000 coins, I became humbled. Because mind you, we had nowhere near this much in coins. And what made things even worse was, wait, we only have 10 days left to complete Mbappe and we're not even halfway done. And so we had no time gone. And from being in a position where I felt like I was on top of the world, all of a sudden, I started to feel like I was underneath it and it was falling down on top of me. Now in a state of panic, I would use our team of the week to complete an upgraded PC that was available at the time before seeing that all of our players had sold and we also had another two that I had forgotten to solve. I would then open the pack and while we did get an 87 rated walkout, we also had some duplicates with decent rating and so to avoid wasting them, I would use them to complete a team of the week player pick. And remember, team of the weeks were important because they had a decent amount of value and this was because you could use them to complete squads for Mbappe as SPC, but they could also be used to complete incredibly potent upgrade packs. We have a team of the week player pick now, come on. Okay, that rating means that we can use it in Mbappe squads. But with us still being far from completing Mbappe, I knew that we needed to make progress fast. Because of this, I took a look at the objectives and I saw that there was a cup that we could participate in. But because I couldn't find games on this day, I started to look for other objectives when I saw that by participating in the draft game mode, we could earn some decent packs. After building the best draft team that you'll ever see in your life, I saw that we had tons of low rated gold cards and I could use these to complete upgrade packs. So over the next few minutes, completing upgrade packs is exactly what I would spend my time doing. And even though we had 26 of them, we still would 
wouldn't get that much because in these upgrade packs I would get barely anything but one of the valuable players that I would get was an 84 rated team of the week and while I could use it to complete another 84 times 5 one of Mbappe's squads required three team of the weeks because I needed more of them I would continue opening the packs that we had until eventually I would get an 84 rated duplicate and to avoid wasting them I would complete one of the squads for the team of the week player pick SPC now, after doing so I would continue ripping through the packs that I had left until eventually one of them gave me an 85 rated duplicate and fortunately for us this was perfect to complete the most expensive squad for the team of the week player pick and so just like that we're getting another team of the week player here but we literally just got the bare minimum but in this case even the bare minimum was enough because now that we had three team of the weeks we could complete Mbappe's final 85 rated squad and because of the amount of team of the weeks that it required this actually chipped off a significant amount of his value now with the few upgrade packs that I had left and with the way that they were going I didn't have a lot of hope in them but to my surprise we would at least get an 87 rated workout from one of them until eventually we had exhausted all of our upgrade packs I would then decide to take our draft team for a spin and in our first draft the very first game that I played would end up being the toughest but after beating that opponent the next two players that I played against would absolutely get destroyed and eventually we were in the finals and if we could win it we could get some decent tradable rewards and so this was that game and ignore the trainer because my settings got bugged when I came back Messi on the ball now the squad's dribbling is insane into the Annie Yes, we have the lead early on, and I was motivated, because if I could win the draft, I would get good tradable packs that could help me to make a lot of coins. Sissoko, he's actually scored. My opponent would then score one goal back, but like I said, I was motivated to win. Messi's through. Oh, he's so good. And the first half would end 3-1 in our favour. Now, funnily enough, the second half would be almost exactly the same, because in it, our opponent was capable of scoring one goal, but instead of scoring three, this time, we were capable of scoring four, and this would result in us winning the entire draft. What rewards are we gonna get? Ah, oh, okay, they're not the worst. Now, to avoid wasting your time, these packs would indeed be the worst, and we were only capable of making a few thousand coins from them, but this wasn't why I participated in the draft. The rewards that we got for completing a bunch of the draft objectives were, although the packs that we got would end up being awful, but the packs that we could get for completing the entire objective almost guaranteed to give us some very good players and when trying to complete a new PC like Mbappe's taking advantage of every single game mode within the game is exactly what you need to do and once again after building an insane draft this time making it to the finals within it would be a much easier task and once I had done that this is how the finals would go CR7 is through we pass it into Cruyff and he scores at the near post and that's why he's the GOAT CR7 lovely dribbling from there scores in the top corner and our opponent forfeits as well this meant that once again we had completed the entire draft and this time we would get a 50k pack but before even opening it I would complete an SPC that rewarded me with a draft token because I intended to complete the entire objective before I opened the tradable packs that I had and so in this third draft after winning the first two games I would give away the third and we now had even more tradable packs which would end up being awful and didn't really help us to make a lot of coins but most importantly, we've completed the entire draft objective and we are getting some insane packs. Our first objective pack would give us an 85 rated player and the second would give us an 86 rated player and so it seems like the packs were only getting better. Third pack now is a French center forward. Is that Benzema? No, it's in Kunku. Oh, but it's going to be two walkouts and we just got an 89 rated player as well. Oh, and there's a team of the week. The next pack that I opened would once again give us a walkout and in our penultimate pack, I finished goalkeeper from Leverkusen we got two walkouts and the first is an 88 rated promo card and the second one's going to be an 86 and I mean with how good those packs were I didn't mind anything from the last pack final pack are we going to get another walkout from this final pack we're actually getting two walkouts from the final one but they're both going to be only 86 rated oh but we did get another promo card that draft objective paid off now in search for even more dopamine I would use the team of the week that we got to complete another 84 times 5 and this is what that pack gave us okay no promo card but it's going to be a Spanish center back from Barcelona Yes, it's going to be the 88 rated card as well. Okay, so with all of our players, we can only do an 87 rated squad. But if we can get into the Champions Finals, we can get some incredible packs from the rewards for winning games. But we need to qualify first. Now, because you could get tradable rewards from the qualifiers, and we needed about 350,000 coins to complete Mbappe's most expensive squad, this was the next best area to progress. On top of that, we were also only 8 games away from completing the UEFA Euro Goal Rush. And so I would enter into, and after dominating, win the first game that I played in the qualifiers. Now, I haven't mentioned this just yet, but completing Mbappe's most expensive squad would be a significant moment for me in trying to complete his player of the month card because this squad was worth half a million queens and while I didn't believe that the odds of completing Mbappe's player of the month was in our favour by completing his most expensive squad I felt like it would tip these odds ever so slightly in our favour. Now even though we were using Chiesa for the objective with Mbappe in our attack we were still capable of cooking like crazy within the qualifiers and after winning a few games and scoring some goals that would make me creep Chiesa's entire objective is now complete and so along with an 81 times 11 we got a pack that guaranteed 
guaranteed us two walkouts and we had also completed other objectives and because we also made progress in the season pass we got a decent amount of packs and also a few picks and after getting some average players from the player picks i would use a duplicate that we got to complete the cheaper squad for the 83 plus team of the week player pick so I started this day by opening some of the packs that we had earned on the previous. Now on this day, already in our third pack, we got a promo card, and it's going to be a Brazilian? Sentiment, who is this? From Al Nasser. Okay, it's Alex Tillis, and he's not that bad. But we'd pack a freeze player with a lot more value than this guy, but not in one of these packs, because the next pack that I opened, it's giving us a team of the week, and his rating is fine. Oh, we got two team of the weeks, and that's massive, because with 83 times 10 being available today, and us being able to complete them twice, these team of the weeks are all we need. Our next two packs would give us 84 rated players, along with a bunch of duplicates, which wasn't necessarily what we needed, but to avoid wasting them, I would use them, along with the team of the weeks that we had gotten, to complete the two 83 times 10s that we could on this day we have two 83 times 10 packs now okay this is the first one wait no way we just got an 84 rated as our best player the next 83 times 10 would give us the best player in the world but unfortunately he's only 86 rated within this game and with loads more duplicates in this pack it only made sense to complete another team of the week player pick because we could use the team of the weeks over the coming days come on we at least got an 84 rated this time okay final pack now and this guarantees us two walkouts french center forward please be benzema no okay it's in Kunku, but as we know it's going to be two walkouts and it looks like the second walkout is going to be an 87 rated mead now in kunku was a duplicate but at this point i saw that if we purchased harry kane we could complete an 88 rated squad for mbappe but because of our bad dad wanted to complete his most expensive squad and the fact that spending queens would take us further away from doing that i was hesitant now even though this was the case i'd end up biting the bullet and purchasing harry kane to avoid wasting a duplicate in kunku and to allow us to complete an 88 rated squad for mbappe and to make things a little bit better we would end up packing sun in the terrible pack that we got from completing that squad and so this allowed us to make some of those coins back so we need to make even more coins now to complete Mbappe's most expensive squad and since we're almost done in the qualifiers and we can get tradable packs from this game mode i'm going to finish these games if we could win both of the games that we had left we could upgrade our rewards unfortunately with Kiesa's objective being complete we no longer needed to use him in our team but with this little bit of a boost in the attack we were capable of winning the first out of the two games that we had but this meant nothing unless we could win the very next game that we played as well let's close him down here yes neymar wins the ball it falls to Moani, and he scores! Ramirez is straight into Mbappe, he gets through somehow, this guy is different. But just when it looked like we were in a comfortable position, our opponent would score a goal from outside of the box. And so I wanted to restore my two goal lead. Neymar, the dribbling is insane, can he score? Yes, he does! And that two goal lead was enough to allow us to win this game, which allowed us to upgrade our rewards, and also give us the opportunity of making a decent amount of coins. Come on, let's make some coins. Touch, right mid. From Dortmund, is that Marlin? Yes, it is! That's massive! Because at the time of recording, he had an absolute absolutely insane evolution and because of that he was extinct on the market after checking if we could evo him and finding out that we had already used the evolution i would continue opening the packs that we had and unfortunately these tradable packs wouldn't really give us anything good and after selling all of the contents in it that had value i would also proceed to sell marlin before completing the entire market matchups spc allowing me to get even more tradable packs and these were going to be important because we weren't far from completing mbappe's most expensive squad and these tradable packs could help us to do so first pack what has happened to our pack luck and throughout the next few packs that I opened, I would continue to wonder about this because all of these packs were completely awful. So we now have over 330,000 coins and because we have packed more high rated players, these coins should be enough to complete the 90 rated squad. And so feeling like this, I would start to purchase the players that we required in order to complete Mbappe's most expensive squad. And this was risky because if we submitted the squad, the coins that we spent would be coins that we'd never see again. Meaning that if we failed to complete Mbappe's player of the month, we would be setting our account back. Okay, we can now submit the most expensive squad for Mbappe and this is massive because not only is that squad worth half a million coins but the rest of his squad should all be easier than this one to complete i would then open the terrible pack that we got back and in this pack we would get an informed player with decent rating and so just like that we were capable of making over 40,000 coins i then saw that our highest rated squad was now only an 86 and with only a week left to complete mbappe and still 10 more squads to go i would start to stress now by leveling up in the season pass we could get an absolutely insane pack and i saw that by participating in the versus cup we could actually get the xp to level up now on this day after spending time and not being able to find a game in this game mode both the champions finals once again being available considering the insane rewards that you could potentially get and the fact that there were objectives that would allow us to get some more insane packs as well this was the next area where i wanted to invest my time in now my very first out of the 20 games in the champions finals was tough and as hard as i tried in this game i would ultimately still end up losing now this was bad because in order to get good rewards from the champions finals you need to get as many wins as you possibly can and so starting off with the loss is the last thing that i needed now in the second game that i played once again i would find an incredibly tough opponent but in this game after going down by a goal 
goal, I would fight hard to equalize, but after equalizing, my opponent would leave, resulting in this game not counting. Now, just because the game didn't count doesn't mean that it didn't frustrate me, and we did only need one more win in the Champions Finals in order to get a decent pair. Neymar on the ball now. He finds Mbappe into best. What a play. And in this game, things would go incredibly well for me. One, you know, he scores. But after this, things would take a turn for the worst. And out of nowhere, my opponent would be capable of equalizing against me. And this didn't make sense to me because this early on in the Champions Finals, the games were meant to be a lot easier. De Jong into Moani. Can he score from here? Yes, we have the lead again. And after this, Mbappe would continue to show his value. And I'll be honest, I can't imagine what we'd do without him. Okay, so we won our first game. And that means we're going to be able to claim an 84 times 5 pack. Will we get another promo card? It looks like it's going to be a gold center mid from Al Nasser. Oh, it is a promo card and it's going to be two walkouts. And our second player is going to be Marquinhos. But now we have valuable duplicates. But as valuable as they were, they weren't too valuable to be used in an 83 plus team of the week player pick. And this would allow me to get another team of the week that could be used in 83 times tens once they refresh that is i would then continue to play in the champions finals and in these games we started to win in a much more comfortable fashion and after playing and winning the next three games that i played in a row we were four and one but we were also two wins away from getting our next objective reward now winning my sixth game meant that i now only needed to win one more and hopefully we wouldn't have to do it after being one goal down oh no he's through no that's why he's the goat but being one goal down isn't as bad as being two no we're down by two goals but if we wanted to complete mbappe's play of the month we needed the best possible reward Rewards, and so we couldn't afford to give up. George Best chips the keeper? Yes, that's class. And in an important game, our club legend would step up. And at times, this game is so random. What is this guy doing? Is he gonna score an own goal? He does. Wait, is he gonna give me the win after making me come back? I don't understand this game. But I'll take a win, especially if it meant that I could get a couple of decent backs from it. So we still need almost a million coins of value if you want to complete Mbappe's play of the month. So let's hope we can get something decent here. Oh, and I think we're gonna be getting Odegaard. And an 87 rated is not a bad start. Can things get even better? We're going to be getting a French right wing. I think that's Dembele, wait from Bayern, and his two walkouts. Wait, no way! We just got Coleman's freeze card, and that's massive. And the second walkout is going to be Modric. Other reason backing Coleman was massive was because while we worked towards completing Mbappe, the only way of actually getting upgrades for our team was through packing players, and that's exactly what we did here. I would then shuffle the team around, and although I didn't find the perfect solution, it didn't look too bad. And what was even better was the fact that we were now only 150 XP away from getting that insane pack, and by playing two more games, we could get 500 XP. Now on Coleman's debut, although things started off incredibly well, the opponents that we were facing on this day continued to be incredibly tough and in this game after being taken to penalties we would ultimately end up losing now this meant that we only needed to play one more game to get that xp but in the next game that i played after forging a two goal lead against my opponent in the most unfair manner possible my opponent would work their way back into the game and then eventually oh no he's down the byline van dyke with the block full steam but we save it but if full steam again this game is so random and this particular game would end up going to extra time and i'll be honest with you this game was taking me to the darkest of places no he's through after Van Dijk clearly tackled him and our Blanc just gives away a penalty we save the penalty we go the right way but he still scores and if we couldn't score off of this corner in the 120th minute we would end up losing this game Van Dijk is free Yes, we've equalized. My opponent and I would then battle it out in a penalty shootout. And after the first five penalties, the game would go to sudden death. And after we each scored our first penalty within sudden death, let's take Composia. Yes, we save it. And now it's back to Van Dyke, the man who equalized for us. Can he win the game? He does! And I'll be honest, I didn't think that this was the way that game would go. I could then claim the best pack that I've ever had on this account. And so Mbappe material, here I come. Come on. Okay, we're going to be getting a German cam from Bayern. It should be two walkouts. Wait, it's just going to be one walkout and it's only going to be an 87. Yeah, that was underwhelming. And because it didn't allow us to progress any closer to being able to complete Mbappe and playing in the Champions Finals would, I would proceed to do exactly that. Now, after winning the next two games that I played in a row, it would be in the third game where I eventually ended up picking up another the loss and without frustrating the gameplay can be this year it doesn't help when you have a community who leaves games while the game is tied up just to prevent you getting the win and because i was playing in a frustrated manner due to all of the things that were happening i would end up losing my 13th game i then decided to continue playing and i would be capable of winning the game after this before seeing that if i could just win one more game i would earn an 83 times 10 pack i in the first game that i played after going down by a goal i wouldn't be capable of scoring one back and i would end up losing it the next game that i played would end up going to extra time after my opponent and i each scored one goal and it was an extra time where we were capable of taking the lead and we were absolutely dominating my opponents would then have a good opportunity in the last minute and after failing to score it they would be granted a corner and so to win this game we just had to simply defend a corner okay i'm marking these tallest players there's no way salah gets to that there's no way 
I'm in the penalty shootout. I simply just felt like I had the read on my opponent because during the game, I was dominating and reading every single move that they made. And thanks to winning this penalty shootout, we could claim that 83 times 10 path. Come on now, 83 times 10. Normal gold card. It's a finish right wing. Is that Coleman once again? No, it's going to be Dembele this time. And unfortunately, it's also only going to be one walkout. Now with loads of duplicates, I would complete the cheaper squad for the 83 plus team of the week player pick. And I also saw that we only had four games left in the champions finals. Meaning that if we wanted to get ranked for rewards, which was the minimum that we needed if we wanted to have a chance at completing Mbappe, we needed to win three out of the last four games that we had. Although it was tough, we were capable of winning the first out of these four games. And because the 83 times 10s had now refreshed, I could use the team of the weeks that we had in our club to complete it the two times that we were allowed. Okay, we have two 83 times 10s. First one's going to be an English right back. From Barca, that's going to be Bruns. But it's only going to be one walkout. Now we did also get a team of the week from it. And our second 83 times 10 would not be as good as the first. Because while we did get an 87 rated player. This time there was no team of the week in the pack. Now because there were high rated duplicates. I would use them to complete the team of the week player pick. And after getting an 85 rated team of the week from this. We still had an 87 rated duplicate to get rid of. And so using these three team of the weeks. As well as the 87 older guard. I was capable of completing the toughest 86 rated squad for Mbappe. And having made progress. I wanted to make even more. And by finishing my champions finals. I could do exactly this. Unfortunately, in the first game that I played back, I would be capable of getting the better of my opponent, and at this point, I only needed to win one more game. No, this is a decent player, but we weren't too bad ourselves. All falls to Mbappe. Good skill? Yes, the game's tied up. George Best now. Lovely dribbling. Ball over the top to Coleman. Can he score? What a finish! And from here, if we could defend well against our opponent, with it being late, we would win the game. No, he's done well, and they equalize. This game would once again go to extra time, where we would have the first opportunity. Ramirez? Yes, that's a clutch goal. But sometimes, things just aren't meant to go your way. No, why is Blanc running out? Finds his attacker. Our defenders are going all over the place, and he scores down the middle. And this time, in the penalty shootout, unfortunately, we weren't capable of getting the better of our opponent, meaning that if we wanted to get ranked for rewards, we had to win the very last game that we had. And so this is how that very last game would go. Mbappe, we need you in these games. Good speed? Yes, nobody else can do that. And now it was important that we kept this up. Mbappe again, this guy's speed is insane. De Jong with the challenge, Mbappe to Komen. And we get lucky but we scored. I would then once again get a bit lucky, which would allow me to score a third goal. But after this, my opponent would cancel this goal out by scoring one of their own. But I wanted to put this game to bed. Mbappe now, good dribbling. Can he score this? This guy is insane. And even though my opponent would do well to score a goal back, Mbappe would once again do his thing. And in this game, he had truly come alive. And thanks to him, we would win this important game, allowing us to get those rank 4 rewards. Okay, so we only have time left to open these rewards. And so this needs to help us to complete Mbappe. Our play picks could have been worse and so i was grateful to get the players that i got and after opening a guaranteed promo pack and literally getting the bare minimum the final three packs that we had in the store were tradable and so if we wanted to complete Mbappe's player of the month here we needed to make a lot of coins from them first pack is a spanish center mid from barca this could be alexia no but it isn't it's only an 83 rated and with how important making coins were i would try my best to make as many coins from this pack as i could ultimate pack now Norman, cam from Bayern. this should at least be one walkout no it's not even going to be a walkout and so from our first two packs we weren't capable of making enough coins and it all came down to this final pack final pack now norwegian that has to be Haaland. And I think it is going to be him. Yes, we just got Haaland. But it's only going to be one walkout. However, he could have just saved us. Because thanks to his value, it meant that we could make some coins from these rewards. But instead of selling him, I would instead keep him to complete the next most expensive squad for Mbappe. And in order to complete the squad, we still needed to use roughly 200,000 coins. And because we still had some players selling, it seemed like this would be possible. Now with only 6 days remaining, and still loads of expensive squads to complete, completing this 1800 squad would keep us in contention to complete the player of the month. And because I knew this, I would start to spend all the coins that I had to purchase the remaining players that we needed. And after purchasing all of these players, literally being left with scraps, I was indeed capable of completing another 1800 squad for Mbappe. Now with us only having 6 days left, and the team of the year promo being around the corner, I knew that I was going to need to have a massive week. And because of the team of the year promo coming out, to avoid losing coins on him, understanding the importance of coins, I would sell our tradable gold Mbappe. And although we wouldn't complete this player of the month in this video, like I said, we still did have 6 days. But with the amount of value that we still had to get, it meant that I needed to have a massive next six days now, if you guys enjoyed this video you'll enjoy one of these ones so go ahead and click on any of those videos to watch them